Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind Elder Scrolls 3 and when we last left off we had contracted a disease <laughs> Great. What kind of disease is it? It drains our personality 32 points? That's full whack! Oh my word! This is a horrendous condition to have Why do they keep running away like that? You know, I think we're going to have to use this. A character's not massively skilled in the, in the art of killing <coughs> things by hand to hand. So, I think... <sighs> you know... Let's just quick load again and try that again because I don't want I don't want to be in this position where we've got some sort of condition that's <sighs> we can do it. We don't want a disease either that drains our personality right down. <coughs> right, that's one nice good shot. Come on, we could do this. You s no, they don't like the water for some reason. I think that's why they run away. Come on, this XM, you're rubbish. Look, they're right there. How can you not hit them? Uh, wow, uh. They, they whack us quite strong. Do we have something that can help us? Paralyze, perhaps. We can paralyze them. <coughs> no, nope. well, they can just whack us in the face and cause us to die. Thanks. Alright, um. Hmm. Let's equip paralyze. Cast paralyze upon them. Once paralyzed, get out our little knifey thing and stab them all over. That sounds good. Because I think our chance to hit is a hundred percent. I don't know. Right. Now we equip ourselves with this. <coughs> this plan's not... Ah! <coughs> Come on. One down. Uh, should I save here or not? I don't know. I think I'd seriously hate myself if. Why does it keep running in here? Right, you. Resisted magic, but it's just a right. <laughs> Definitely serve you there. You can tell we're such a low level. <laughs> so something is is as rubbish as that could take us on. Right, you. I've had to put up with all kinds of nonsense. Is it dead? Yes. Sorry about that, actually. You, quite a big and in interesting creature. But uh, I had to do it because I'm being paid to do it, I think. And I'm also doing it for the sake of Morrowind Big Business. Sorry about that. <laughs> Quick save. Let's actually have a sleep amongst the corpses of the animals that we have just slain. How lovely of us. Right, where are our magic hands? Let's get recall on the go. 
and teleport ourselves back to here. Are you going to leave any time soon? Yes, Outlander. Just get out. Speak, traveller. I don't think it's going to happen. Where are we off to? Balmora. See, mark and recall are amazing. Don't they work so much well? So much better than walking backwards and forwards to places. Oh, Outlander, did you want some? What we should do is actually just drop up, drop Mark in the yes, um, what do you want? Balmora House Harlu place, and then we just teleport right in front of our boss. That would probably just work out better for us. What is this? About? Oh, uh, I don't know. Omenaring about it. So here we are, back to report our successful completion of yet another quest. First quests are always quite straightforward to do. How wonderful! Welcome, Outlander. Wow, you really like us. Is the Queen in the in any mine egg mine dead? You killed the Queen. Good. Take these five hundred drakes with my gratitude. Five hundred drakes. Excellent. What about some advancement? No, no one doubts your ability to handle business, but you simply don't have enough experience yet. What? Right, well, give us some experience. What about some business? House Redoran sells more guard hides uh, than House Halu. Someone needs to convince the alchemists in Vivek to buy only imported House Halu guard hides. The alchemists. Business. House Halu. House Harlu guy, right. yes. We both belong to House Harlu. Are you here to discuss business? Yes, I am. Just, what, what alchemists? Which ones? Do all of the alchemists, or just the ones in the foreign quarter? Ah, okay. <laughs> we'll start with the alchemist. Rolaza Oren. Go to Vivek and convince her to buy important um, imported House Halu Gar hides instead of the local House Redoran Gar hides. Wow, these guys are really She lives in Vivek, like I said like I said. Somewhere in the foreign quarter. Right. Right, fine, that's where we'll go. Let's have a little rest, actually. And then we'll head off to Vivek. Something's always stuck in the door. Hmm. Right. Off to Vivek, then. To the foreign quarter. And what's her name? Right. She looks like a dumb now with a name like that. Travel me please to Vivek. Vivek. Speak freely, friend. Okay. Off we go. You know, I was thinking about um playing as a vampire at some point in this game. And I'm not sure whether we should or whether we shouldn't, what 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 conditions we should have before we do such things. Being a uh, being a vampire, it, it can be cool, um, but it's also got a lot of drawbacks. So you're very very powerful as a vampire, but you're also um, pretty much hated and feared, and there's only certain people that will speak to you. So the benefits of being a vampire are quite small. But it's just it just seems cool to be one generally. I feel what is is it you oh, My yes. time is precious, so make it quick. Right. Uh we are here actually to speak to you about Gua Hide. 
imported guar hides are not fresh. Uh, right. Let's just quickly save here. Uh, and when we come back, we were go we are going to have to persuade this fine lady to uh, of the of the amazing benefits of imported guar hides. Granted that they are that they're not as fresh as the the uh, the local ones. However, there are amazing benefits to be had from the imported ones, or to the high quality of our livestock. But I'll tell you more about that later on. Um, until that time, though, I want you guys to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>